Hi everyone and welcome to Road to Forever. I'm Terry, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Daniel Fast desserts that are quick, easy, and delicious. But before we jump into today's video, I just wanna take a moment on behalf of Kyle and I to say thank you. We are thankful to all of you who have watched our video, subscribed, shared our videos, and commented down below. You guys are amazing and we are just so truly grateful for each and every single one of you. Another announcement before we jump into our Daniel Fast Desserts video is that tomorrow we'll be posting a second video. Generally, we only post a video once a week, but a lot of you are excited about these recipes, so we're gonna post another video on the Daniel Fast tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that right now and hit that notification bell so that when the video goes live, you will be the first to know. And that video will be all about Daniel Fast soup recipes. And I'm telling you guys, these are the same recipes that I, myself, and Kyle are enjoying. And you guys already know that if it doesn't have flavor and if it doesn't taste good, we're not eating it. So make sure that you sign in tomorrow to check out our Daniel Fast soup recipes. But today's video is all about desserts. And these desserts are delicious. They're quick. They're easy. So let's dive right in and check out these Daniel Fast desserts. The thing we're going to do is actually make a top and we're going to make that topping by using two medjool dates and half a cup of walnuts and you're going to need a food processor for this but if you don't have one that's fine just use a blender so all I'm going to do is add all of that to my um, food processor so that's my half a cup of walnuts and my two medjool dates my dates have the pit in them so if you have dates with the pits make sure you take them out then I'm just going to add them to my food processor then I'm just going to chop them up together and that's going to be a topping for our dessert so here is the finished product of my dates with walnuts mixed together. Again, I just put that in the blender or your food processor. I'm using a food processor here. And then I just put on puree and it chopped up really quickly. My uh, food processor is not expensive. It's really simple. I actually got it from Target, but you could also get it from Amazon. It's a KitchenAid for any of you who would be interested. And I'll put a link in the description in case you're interested in getting a food processor and you don't have a blender, it works the same. So yeah, this is what it looks like and we're gonna just put that right on top of our desserts. All right, so our first dessert recipe is very simple. It's just going to be ice cream. Well, not really, but nice cream. So we're gonna use one frozen banana and one cup of frozen pineapple. And generally, sometimes I use mango, but um, we use the mangoes already for smoothies, so what I have left is pineapple. You could swap out the pineapples for strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, whatever fruit you like, but I'm just gonna do banana, pineapple, and then I'm going to use my topping that I made earlier with walnuts and dates and put that on top. You can also swap out the walnuts for some other nuts that you like. You also don't have to use the dates, but again, just making sure I have a little nice flavor combination. And you guys also know I love coconut, so if you want, you could also sprinkle some coconut flakes right on top. So all I'm gonna do is take my frozen banana and frozen pineapple and add that right to my food processor, and then I'm just gonna process that and I'll show you what it looks like. So my banana and pineapple were super frozen and it wasn't chopping up or pureeing, I should say, the way I liked. So all I did was just add two tablespoons of almond milk to this. And guys, look at this. It is so delicious. I'm telling you, once you taste this, it's like you're in heaven. So all I'm going to do is just add this to a bowl and add some of my toppings on top. And I'll just show you what that looks like. All right guys, so here is our banana pineapple nice cream with some chopped dates and walnuts on top. And I'm telling you guys, this tastes amazing. If you tried this recipe, definitely let us know in the comments down below what you think of it and how amazing it is. And if, as always, if you're liking these videos, just make sure you give us a thumbs up. It helps us to know that we should keep making more content like this. And also share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. So we're gonna jump right into our next dessert. For dessert number two, we're sticking with our food processor. And to my food processor, I added one tablespoon of almond butter, um, a half a cup of almond milk. You could always swap out the almond milk for something like coconut water, or you could use fresh squeeze, orange juice, or carrot juice. It's really up to you. And then I have one frozen banana. So all I'm going to do is make sure I puree that in my food processor. Then I'm going to add my toppings after I pour this into a bowl. So all I'm going to do is puree this, add it to a bowl, and then I'll show you adding my toppings. 
So this is what it looks like after I have blended my banana with my almond butter um, and almond milk. So now I'm just going to add a half of a chopped up um, fresh banana right on top. And I mean, you can make this look pretty if you want, but I'm just adding it right on top. And then our little mixture that we made earlier of walnuts and dates, I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to scoop that right on top as well. And then I'm just going to add some organic shredded unsweetened coconut right to the top of this. And that is your delicious uh, smoothie bowl. And that's dessert number two. Again, another dessert that is just amazing. So if you're liking this, give it a thumbs up. This next dessert is so quick, easy, and delicious. So all I did was just uh, take an apple and I just diced that up. And then I sprinkled it with some ground cinnamon. And then I'm going to drizzle two tablespoons of almond butter right over top. Put it in a microwave for two minutes just so you want to cover it with a microwave safe um, top. So then leave it in the microwave on high for two minutes. Once it's done, take it out. And then all you have to do is scoop some of our, um, you know, dates, walnut mixture that we made in our fruit processor earlier right on top. And that's your next dessert. So quick, delicious, and it's so simple. So here is my apple, cinnamon, and almond butter mixture. Once I took it out of the microwave after two minutes, I just mixed it all up with a spoon, and then I just topped it with my dates and walnut mixture uh, that we made in the beginning of the video. And it's ready to go. You can have it just as it is. If you would rather not have that dates walnuts topping, you could always substitute some uh, hemp seeds or you could substitute some chia seed. And so with any of these toppings that you've seen in the video, you can always make substitutions for. Hope you enjoy this one. So that's it for our Daniel Fast desserts that are quick, easy, and delicious. Let us know in the comments down below which one of these recipes are you most excited about trying. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. And before I leave you, I just want to remind you, you're only one prayer away. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.